It's Tunnel TV. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. It's finished 2 0. Chelsea have their win. It's three points, two goals for Chelsea. You rarely see that these days, but it has happened. FX, I want to know your thoughts. Good game. Started the game very well. Um, we showed um, grit and, um, you know, that tenacity was there from the get go. You, even you were saying it from the the sidelines that uh, Chelsea is playing differently and it was a derby you're playing against um, a team that we shared the same postcode but aside that very good game of football we've dominated most of the games we've played this season but we've just not been scoring you know aside Nottingham Forest uh, at Stamford Bridge we were, we were lackluster in that game but today's game very very impressive it's our best game yet in my opinion Cole Palmer wonderful football Levi Cowell, even though I don't want him to succeed as, le as a left back, it worked. Cucurella as a right back on a, using his left leg, second game in a row, did that in the Carabao Cup against Brighton. Stage by stage, can I be? Stage by stage, you know, I've always said it from the beginning that this team is just gelling and it will take time. It's a, it's a project. It's, it's we kind of we kind of saw what an attack led by Borja today could look like. He looked very dangerous. He looked very lively. He pressed the ball. He got his goal. And in fact, he made the Fulham defenders nervous all the time he had the ball. And we can see that there's a number nine there. There's a striker, yeah. a striker that Chelsea have been dying for. <laughs> Are you happy with what you're seeing? And do you think he's the man to lead the line this season? Yeah, I mean, he showed um, signs and glimpses of what he's meant to be a target man. You know, that hold up play was there. He had a very good chance in the first 10 minutes of the game beat the keeper, I mean, just hit the target, son, you know, but blaze over the back. Yeah, short of form, he hasn't played football in a while, injuries. But yeah, I like what I saw. The hold-up play, the movement, he's totally different from Nicholas Jackson for me. So he gives us another dimension. Can we depend on Broha and Nicholas Jackson to take us to the next level? Maybe this season we'll see how it goes. But if once one of them gets injured, we're in trouble. So we need to probably go into the market to get one more. But again, Cole Palmer for me, wonderful footballer. Also, speaking about another wonderful footballer, today Mikhail Modric gets his first Premier League goal for Chelsea. He looked very good. He looks like a confidence player. He looks like a player that you need to pat him on the shoulder. He say, hey, <coughs> you're the best in the world at what you do. So do what you do. So um, are you happy? do you think this is the goal that's going to kickstart the £80 million Ukrainian's career? I mean, uh, we're watching the game and big drug. By the way, when I in the cough, so he was, he knows why he was coughing because he knows I want to talk about. Him. I, yes, I've been criticizing the boy, but if you watch the Blues Brothers podcast as well, I think one of the episodes, I've also been saying that I give Modric at least one whole season. If I could be patient with Christian Pulisic, then of course I can give Modric a, a chance. You know, oh my God, only a Chelsea fan will leave his phone on after I'm the game. I'm sorry about you that. See, they're not. They're not used to now victories. Now woman, now woman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So with that said, it's finished 2-0. <laughs> Fulham with the victory. A rare win for Chelsea. I hope they can climb out of mid-table. Peace. Only women do this. Check out his podcast. Peace out.